Our mission at Catalyst is to extend and improve the lifespan of 7,000 people in Sault Ste. Marie. And here's what I mean by that. Right now, uh, the current lifespan of the average person in Canada is extending out. It's getting longer and longer and longer. And the primary things that determine the length of life that you're going to have in the world are things like wealth. I mean, if you have access to or you live in a wealthier country, you have access to better health care, uh, better nutrition, um, better you know, care. You're less likely to die in a work-related accident, that sort of thing. And so lifespan is extending out. And the average lifespan in Canada, if you don't die of something like cancer or, or an accident, is just over 80 years, slightly longer for women than for men. And so that's great. And, you know, there are a, a lot of scientists who believe that we'll probably extend that lifespan out even further and further and further. However, extending life is not the same as extending the quality of life. And the quality of life is uh, measured by me in vitality. And vitality means how much you enjoy your life, how mobile you are, freedom from disease, freedom to do the things that you want to do, um, whether you're able to take care of yourself, meaning like you, you have the mental capacity to not forget the pot that's burning on the stove, but also to not slip and fall, which is a cause of mortality due to accident, um, to be able to walk to the toilet, sit down and get yourself back up off the toilet, um, to have faith in yourself as your primary caregiver. Um, also to be free from things like injury and comorbidities, the things that cause early or premature death. Typically, the vitality curve goes like this. Everything feels about fine until you're about 40. And then you start to notice like, oh, a little bit of memory decline. Or maybe you start to notice like, oh, I don't have the mobility that I used to, or those old football injuries are kicking in, or you know, maybe it takes you longer to recover from the everyday cold that you used to bounce back from when you were 20. You know, maybe sexual energy decreases or just kind of your drive for life. Maybe you feel less motivated. Maybe you even feel depressed. And gradually that curve starts to become more and more drastic to the point where you've lost mobility and you've lost uh, the ability to care for yourself. And, you know, you're restricted to a home and, and then your quality of life is very, very low. And in some cases, unfortunately, uh, that means that people are so dissatisfied with their life that they're just ready to be finished. What we actually want to do is increase vitality so that this, this narrow window of low vitality but continuing life is minimized. So not only are you alive, but you want to be alive. Not only are you, um, you know, 85 to 90 years old, but you're thrilled that you have the opportunity to live another day. That's vitality. You're still independent. You can still drive a car. You can still take care of yourself. You're not going to forget that boiling pot of water on the stove. Your kids are not scared to leave you uh, alone in your home, that kind of thing. In fact, instead of, you know, just kind of gradually saying goodnight and slipping one toe step in at a time into death, what I want you to do is like slide across that line or uh, whoever greets you at the pearly gates hears, hey, did you see that? You know, I, I want you sliding in uh, at the very last second, out of breath, completely satisfied with life, laughing at the experience that you've had, thrilled at your experience and ready for whatever comes next whatever that afterlife means to you. And so that means increasing vitality and narrowing this window of morbidity where you're just kind of waiting to die or things are not happy and, and you can't take care of yourself and, and you're scared for the future and uh, every day is kind of just a struggle. This is the kind of change that we're trying to affect in the people that we care about most, which is our local neighborhood here and which gyms like Catalyst are trying to change around the world.